my channel. So I'm going to do a review on a book I recently read. Um, I love it. It's awesome. It's called Someone Perfect by Mary um, Balo. Um, but it's really good. I got it at Walmart, actually. Um, and it looked good. It looked, I love this time period stuff of like the Jane Austen kind of time period. Um, so this looked like that and I read it and it is, it is that. And it's, it's awesome. So, um, anyway, so it's about, um, this lady named Estelle and she lives with her brother and it talks about her family life, which was very complicated. Like her mother died. So her aunt and uncle raised her because her dad was so overcome with grief. He started like drinking and gambling and, you know, sleeping around and stuff to kind of cope because he was so sad about his wife dying. And so he wasn't in the right environment to raise his kids. But then, and that made them sad because they longed for their dad as well as their mother because she died when they were like babies, like really little um, or like toddlers, something like that. So they have no memory of her. Um, but their aunt and uncle did a really good job. They love them and they raise them as their own. And so their kids are kind of like their siblings in a way. And then eventually they got a relationship back with their dad and he remarried another lady, which they end up loving her and her family. And so yeah, it's like a very mixed family, but that's the situation she comes from. So she lives with her twin brother and it's just them in the middle of like nowhere because they don't really, they like going to socialize people, but then they like living out in the country only around certain people that they're close to, but they don't like to be crowded all the time, you know, tons of people, but they do like to socialize and they're like the life of the party, both of them and her brother's name Wiley and they live near this estate near this lady and her mother, her mother just died. And her name was Maria, um, the girl that they live next to. And she's like 18, I think. Um, and her brother comes because her mother died and it's her half brother. And his name is Justin. And the first time they meet is she's like out walking to go visit a friend. And then she decided, oh, it's hot. I don't want to. So she started soaking her feet in a lake. And that's how they met. She wasn't like appropriately covered. Her hair was everywhere. And so she was horrified. And he was like very immediately attracted to her. And she's supposed to be like tall, just drop dead, gorgeous, like blue eyes, like auburn hair. I'm a very beautiful woman and he's supposed to be this dark, strong man and very mysterious and quiet and comes off as kind of rude. Um, but he comes off as very mysterious. He's just not a huge talker. Um, but then, and he's very attracted to her, but he, he doesn't do anything and she's like afraid of his dog at first, but later she finds out his dog is a very friendly, nice dog. Um, she was just startled by him. And so her first impression wasn't the best of him. Um, but his first impression was he's very attracted to her, but he's a gentleman, so he doesn't do anything. So then also, um, so then she leaves and goes back, but he keeps going to his sister's, like it's his estate, but he has a sister live there. And there's a whole backstory of that too. Like they used to be very close, loved each other. And then there's like a whole thing that happened. And so the thing that happened, which it doesn't allude to until like the very end of the book, um, was that, and he was very close to his mother and father, but then his mother died and his father went to like a social event, a ball thing. And this lady, um, this younger lady, his stepmother, um, she was really young then. Um, she came from a very kind of like poor middle class family, um, not higher up at all. And his dad's a duke. He's a duke. Um, or an earl. I think he's an earl, actually. <laughs> not a duke, an earl. Um, it's still pretty high up. And his mother was high up and stuff. But his stepmother came from a very lower middle class family. She had one relative who married well, 
<clears throat> much higher up than her station. And so she had her take her to this ball to start an introduction to try to help her find a husband that was better than um, her station would allow usually to marry. Um, but her aunt was like great. Her aunt was trying to be reasonable about it. Um, but she saw him and knew he was an Earl and she basically made it so he, everyone found them that they got locked into a closet together and they found them together and because it put her in a bad situation he was basically forced to have to marry her for her honor as well as his and so he married her he never loved her but he treated her well and had his loyalties to her which is kind of rightfully so he was a very honorable man and this was his dad and then they had their daughter together and so his son um justin and his half sister like they were very close and he played with her all the time and one of the times um and his stepmother because she was like not much older than justin um she started flirting with him making advances and because he noticed this his dad noticed it too but he didn't comment on it but justin like basically kept his distance from her so they didn't get in a bad situation because he didn't want to do anything to compromise stepmother or his dad and anyway he was very close to his father and then he was chasing his little sister around playing hide and seek and she ran a certain direction so he followed her and she ran into their parents room which he'd been in there but he didn't know she wasn't in there that she was in there he thought she wasn't in there um and he ran in there to find his little sister and ran to his stepmother and basically she wasn't all the way dressed because she was dressing but then she started like grabbing him touching him making advances at him and then his dad walked in the room and saw it and got mad and of course it comes to later show he wrote a letter to his son saying i always knew of your innocence but i had to have my loyalties to my wife um and back then that's just how it kind of was like he was like i just had to and we had the little one to raise and everything. And he's like, it didn't kill me to do it because I love you so much. Um, but as a man of honor and a husband, it's kind of what you have to do. And so he, at the time, like, got mad and basically threw Justin out, disowned him in a way. Didn't fully disown him, though, but kicked him out. Basically, it was because he thought his son would go to his other relatives and they'd help take care of him, especially once they heard the whole situation. Um, and it would keep him son away from his stepmother, his, his wife to keep them both safe and honorable in that way. But Justin was so hurt by it. He did go to his relatives, told them what happened and they offered to do just that, like live with us, we'll take care of you and give you connections and all that kind of stuff. So you can, you know, live a gentleman life still. Um, but he was just too proud for that. And he was like, you know what? No. And so he went out on his own with an adventure with a little bit of money in his pocket and he got in a fight over protecting a barmaid's honor or whatever um because men were t being too touchy with her and she didn't like it um and this guy came up and like beat him up but then he said you know you're like all hoity-toity and if you want to you know actually learn how to work a real man's job but like, this is where i live and come find me i'll give you a job and so he didn't expect him to, but then Justin did. He went and got this job from this guy, and he, it was like a stonework job or something like that. And it was like very hard work. He gave him the hardest jobs, and he had to slowly work his way up from the bottom up. And he offered him like a, to share a room with his brother, who was like handicapped, um, and his woman lived there with them. And he basically became like a family for years, and he loved them, and he became extremely strong. And he taught them how to read and he became very close to them and they become important in later in the story. But then when his dad died, he got everything, of course, because the women don't. And so then he sent word basically telling his stepmother, you go to this other state that I have in the country so he could go live at the main house because he was like, I don't want to go be with her because of what she did, basically. And she lied to her daughter maria telling her that he stole some of her jewelry and sold it and that's why he was kicked out and so maria she 
her father never told her anything because he just wouldn't talk about it. But so her mother lied to her. And so they moved to this estate and then she got, they lived there for a few years and then she got sick and then she died. And he was in charge of Maria too, but he was just going to let her live quietly with her mother. And then when she died, he's like, I can't let her leave her out there all alone. She's my responsibility and I love her. And so he went and got her and that's when he met Estelle. And then um, he got to meet them while he was there visiting Maria, trying to talk her back to come back with me and I'm going to meet you meet your family that you haven't ever met like your mother's family our father's family I'm even gonna invite my mother's family like you you're surrounded by family I want you to know that but she wouldn't go she's being stubborn because she had a been grudge against him basically because of her mother's lies um and she was hurt that he wasn't there for so long but then he talked to Estelle and her brother and said, will you guys please come with me? So she feels like she's got someone familiar with her. But I need, I'm need i going to take her back either way. And so they discussed it and they're like, yeah, we'll do it for our friend. So they ended up coming to the estate with their friend um, to give her support to meet all her family she never got to meet because her mother basically secluded her own family her husband's family like everyone she didn't want anyone around she wanted him all to herself and her daughter and she just didn't want anyone else around <clears throat> she wasn't a very nice woman but her daughter didn't quite realize that and then um but later on she found that out a lot of the truths came out little by little by little and this whole time like Estelle and Justin are like talking and he keeps finding like purposely going to seek her out and they have all these good talks and like he shows her a secret cave and pulls out a blanket and they just sit there and talk another time he like shows her the sunset another time he shows her his like own private like room when he was growing up that's like above the greenhouse and he's like i'm only me and my little sister was here no one i've never had anyone else here and he did propose to her and it was a bad propose but she said no because she didn't like him yet. And then he did it because he's like, I need someone not just to be my, help me, like my countess basically, um, to help run everything. But I need it for my sister to help her during the social season to help introduce her people so she can basically court to get married, all that stuff. Because that's just how it was done. And so that's why he was asking her. He's like, you guys can be friends, sisters. Like, that'll be good for her. But she was like, no, I don't like you. I don't know you. No way. And um, so then he's like, I will get you to say yes. And he realized he was falling for her. He was crazy about her. And he just kept, like, showing her bits and pieces of himself. They kept courting her. He was being super sweet and romantic. Telling her about his future life. What happened. Like, he was telling her all the secrets and then his sister was starting to hear all the things that were coming out from extended family, not even from Justin himself, but from family members as she was asking about different things. And finally at the end, she asked him what happened. And I don't think he fully told her. He just hinted around it. And then she just came up with the rest of her brain and she's like, oh my gosh. And so she told him at the end, like, I forgive you. I want to be your family again and so they ended up being close again and close to all the family she ended up loving all her family her mother's family their mother said bad things about her father's family she loved she even loved justin's mother's family which they even told her like we're your family too like you're justin's family so you're our family which is their own wonderful people and um and then he finally proposed to Estelle again at the end of everything and she said yes um and there's a steamy scene in here as well um but it was so romantic the way he proposed to her and like on a bridge during sunset and um he proposed to her after she got to meet the friends that he had lived with for all that time because the handicapped brother came because he wrote a letter and he thought his sister was lost and was coming up to help him find her and he got lost and like they were frantic trying to find him and everyone there at his house like wrote letters out to everyone they knew and then finally he found his way to the estate and Estelle found him and brought him to Justin and Justin took care of him and he was able to persuade um 
his best friend, which is the guy he lived with, uh, to take up a job in town, like right close to his estate. Um, that he basically was going to be his boss paying him to be a blacksmith. Um, and so he had to get, he was apprenticed for a few years, but then he was going to be the blacksmith. They got a much better house. So their living situation was better. He was able to marry his woman and they actually were able to get pregnant, which they hadn't been able to for a long time. And so they had a baby and they were happy. And then, um, him and Estelle got married in the fall and it was a beautiful fall wedding. And... Then his sister, by their great aunt, that actually introduced the, her mother, Maria's mother, to Justin's dad. And well, not to his dad, but like was trying to get her married and stuff. Um, actually said, "I'll take you under my wing, and I'll take you to social season." And so then Estelle and Justin just stayed at their estate and had their honeymoon and their lives. And um, Maria was very thrilled because she's like, "Oh, you can be my sister." And um. Yeah, and so then her brother went back to their estate in the country, and he's like, eventually, I'm sure I'll marry someone. But, And this is a Westcott novel, and it shows you that there's other Westcott stories. So for the family, and she's a Westcott, um, Estelle, and her brother. So it's going to go more into, like, there's other books about other people and how they all kind of connect together, how they're all family. And so I like that, too. So I'm going to get those books and read those, too. Um, but yeah, so this is a very good book, very romantic, there's some scene, there's mystery, there's an intrigue, um, and you don't find everything out until the end of the book, and it's just, it's so wonderful, so I hope you guys read it, and you like it, um, subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up, <laughs> um, see you guys back again later, okay, bye, thanks guys.